Pelvic floor therapy is something that lots of people don't know about um, or know that they can get help for. It's a very sensitive subject. People don't really like to talk about it around here, about bladder dysfunction, bowel dysfunction, or any kind of pelvic pain. But it's very common for women, uh, especially after having babies or in the menopausal years. So having a place like this is a very comfortable place for them to come so that they can get treatment for their um, pelvic muscle dysfunction and we can really work to eliminate the bladder and bowel symptoms. So at the initial evaluation, um, we sit and talk where the patient tells me their symptoms, I get a good medical history on the patient, and then I explain to them the function of the pelvic muscles related to their bladder or bowel dysfunction. When we come into the treatment room, we use the biofeedback technology to get a muscle reading. Uh, we watch it on the computer screen, the patient watches it with me, we analyze the muscle strength, I show the patient this is what um, your strength looks like, this is what we're looking for. We also look at resting pelvic muscle tone, endurance, coordination, and we do this each time the patient comes to therapy. Uh, when they go home, they do not have the technology obviously, but they have homework that they practice, and then once they come back, we check and compare from session to session to make sure that we're giving the right exercises and that we're improving uh, strength from, uh, as the weeks go on. It was a friend of uh, Lacey's, Lauren, and she was my physical therapist. And so we discussed, I was telling her about some issues that I had, and she uh, told me about Lacey. And I said, you know, I'd really like to try that. And uh, she told me a little bit about it, and I had some issues that I thought Lacey would be able to help me with. And consequently, that's exactly what happened. She was able to help me with a lot of things that had been on my mind and I'd been worried about because I I have frequent things to happen to me and I didn't want to uh, have surgery in other words and so throughout this uh, sessions that we've had it's all work it's been very beneficial strengthening is I would say only about 50% of what goes on here though um, the other 50% is education um, I really I think it's extremely important to educate the patient on how the bladder and how the pelvic muscles work together so that you can use those muscles to retrain and to eliminate the symptoms. She gives me a lot of information that I can use at home. Everything we go through, she gives me papers that have the instructions for things that I can do at home, the exercises I can do at home, and which is really beneficial to me. Patients really um, feel so much better about themselves after coming to therapy. I have lots of patients who will come in and say, I can't go anywhere without going straight to a restroom. And then they'll a few weeks later come back and say, I went to eat dinner and I didn't even have to go to the restroom the whole time I was there. That's huge. That's a, that's a huge um, accomplishment because people, once they stop thinking about it so much, it, it, it really does um, help to improve their quality of life. I'm at the end of it, the end of my sessions now and everything has, she got me up to exactly where she wanted me to be, the percentage wise. And so I'm good to go, I can graduate now. And that's what I'm gonna do. As an occupational therapist, it's a very rewarding feeling to know that you've changed someone's quality of life. And that's really what it's all about. Um, we look at the computer a lot when we're doing our exercises and everyone says, what number do I have to, how strong do I have to be to, to to get rid of my symptoms and there's no set number there's no set if you contract your muscles and squeeze to 20 millivolts you won't leak anymore it's it's different for every single patient it's specific to each individual and when people are very dedicated to exercising and to um, and, and, and making the changes that are necessary they see huge impacts their results are amazing and um, they tell everybody they know now. They talk about it all the time because they feel like everybody needs to know um, about this place and you've got to come to therapy. It helped me so much. For more information, you can look us up at peakphysicaltherapy.com or call us at 225-292-2526. If you come and see us at the Peak Pelvic Floor Clinic, I promise to help improve your quality of life, make you feel comfortable, and help get your life back.
Um, I like this atmosphere to be comfortable, relaxing, and I don't want the patients to be nervous about coming back. They're extremely nervous, don't want to talk about the topic, really didn't want to talk to their doctor about the topic. But the doctor brought it up, they checked yes on a question, do you have incontinence? And then they come in and um, are really nervous to start Very simply, to tell we me give people their, their life back. Once we get talking and I educate them about the pelvic floor and why they're having these symptoms that they're having um, and what we're going to do to help that, they really have a sense of relaxation, relief, that they can get help for this. A lot of times when, or no, most of the time when patients come in for the initial visit, they will keep coming back. Um, very rarely do we lose somebody after the first visit because now we, they know that there's something that they can do to help themselves and to, de and to get rid of the symptoms that they're having.
Okay. The typical treatment session will last about an hour. Um, you're in a private treatment room with just the therapist. Um, and typically people come about once a week for six weeks or so. We go through a process of pelvic muscle strengthening, bladder retraining, and then we end up with core strengthening um, and then send you home on a maintenance program. So really what we're doing here is we're getting you set up to continue these exercises um, indefinitely. It is a lifestyle change. It is something that we need to continue doing in order to, to keep, um, in order to eliminate the symptoms. Give me some of the So in, over the years of doing this, I, I really thought that this Blue Bonnet Jefferson area was a great place to be to accommodate patients coming from all parts of Baton Rouge. Okay. Um, peak physical therapy is a huge business. They, they offer a lot of different services and um, I was happy to join and be a part of their team and really help expand their options for therapy. Um, it's something completely different that's not offered a lot in this area. Um, I see patients from Mississippi, from Lafayette, from all over, they will drive in to come to therapy because they don't have a whole lot of options. And Peaks now, we're giving them this incredible option to come and um, and help their symptoms, get rid of, get relief from their symptoms. Very good. So men are a lot more nervous about coming to therapy than women are, and they have a lot more difficulty dealing with the symptoms of incontinence just because it's so not something typical. The pelvic floor muscles, they, um, are, that, they form a bowl they, right they at the bottom of our the torso. So they are what helps uh, us communicate females are to a little the bladder bit more into the bowel. With it um, we can't consciously think, okay, let me tighten my bladder right now so that I don't have a problem. But the we have to use lot our pelvic nervous. muscles as a it really way to communicate their, their quality of life a whole lot more. Decrease the bladder frequency and strengthen and We're trying to give a comfortable... Um, relaxing so what place we're doing here come, where they can is, talk to me is and they really can tell exercising me their issues, those muscles and we can work them through by strengthening so and retraining um, teach you how to, to use eliminate them to retrain the muscles of the, of the retrain the that they're having because it was all brought on by this surgery. Oh, yeah, yeah. So incontinence is any loss of urine. That is a, that is a common um, mis misunderstanding. Some people think I cough, I sneeze, I have one little drop. It's not incontinence. I don't have incontinence, but Anytime there's a, there's a loss of urine, whether it's a drop or whether it's a whole lot more than that, um, that is considered incontinence. That's a lot of times caused by weak pelvic muscles and that can be fixed by strengthening and improving your muscle coordination.
So typically bladder medications are prescribed to help with the symptoms of incontinence or urgency frequency and um, pelvic muscle, and, wait, these medications don't always work. So we need to do pelvic muscle strengthening in conjunction with medications in order to help eliminate the symptoms. Sometimes patients are already on the medicine and it's helping but they want to get off of the medicine and so their doctors will send them to therapy to help strengthen the muscles and we wean them off of the bladder medications. I care a lot about people and how they feel about themselves and I know that this issue of incontinence is something that women have to deal with whether it's because they had a baby 20 years ago and they're feeling it now and it's something that causes them to stop doing things, stop going to church, stop going to dinner and um, that's not something that, that that, that's definitely not something that should be stopping them from doing these things, especially when we can do simple exercises to help with that. So my goal here is to eliminate these symptoms, make these women feel better about themselves, and, and to be able to do all the things that they want to do with their kids, with their grandkids, and um, live a full life. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. I've enjoyed these surroundings. The music is wonderful and the atmosphere here is just beautiful and calming and I like that. I've enjoyed these surroundings. The music is wonderful and the atmosphere here is just beautiful and calming and I like that.